The Doc Talk Show profiles Uganda's healthcare sector. Today on the Doc Talk Show, we profile the Uganda Cancer Institute. The institute's main block is located along Upper Mulago Hill Road in Kawempe Division in Kampala, approximately 2.8 miles northeast of the central business district. The institute has made significant growth strides thanks to the government of Uganda's efforts. From a mere unit in the 1950s to an independent institute since 2005. And today, Uganda Cancer Institute is proudly a center of excellence in all of East Africa and it's considered Sub-Saharan Africa's most comprehensive cancer response institute. The Uganda Cancer Institute was started in 1967. Initially, it was started as a research center. And lately, we have also been designated as the East Africa Center for Excellence in Oncology Care, Research and Training. Um, at present, uh, the Cancer Institute is the sole uh, public cancer care center in the country. We receive about 5,000 new patients a year at the Institute. So currently, we have uh, a clinical lab at the Uganda Cancer Institute. And this clinical lab serves as a clinical laboratory, diagnostic laboratory for our cancer patients. Our lab is divided into two sections. We have the main clinical lab and also the pathology laboratory. Now, our vision as a cancer institute is to have a national cancer reference diagnostic laboratory at the cancer institute. Our pathology laboratory is actually able to do most of the cancer diagnostics. We are able to do the basic H&E, uh, which is really the basic diagnostic test for uh, tissues to diagnose cancer, we're able to do immunohistochemistry, and immunohistochemistry actually gives you um, a more precise diagnosis than if you're doing just the basic H&E uh, staining. And so this is one of the, actually, the few labs in the country that's able to do uh, immunohistochemistry. And right now we're providing it at uh, free of cost to our patients. We're able to detect HPV, that's important, the diagnosis of uh, cervical cancer and a number of other cancers. We're also using it to diagnose chronic myeloid leukemia. There's what we call the BCR ABL transcript. The clinical lab um, is divided again into several components. We have uh, the hematology and transfusion, and this mainly deals with a diagnosis of hematologic cancers, but also ensuring that those patients that need blood transfusions are actually given blood transfusions. And in this lab, we actually have a state-of-the-art uh, Diagnostic equipment, we currently have a Sysmex XN 1500, which is one of uh, top of the range hematology machines. And almost all our patients actually um, have hematology tests done on them. So we do a CBC, which is a complete blood count for all our patients. Really, this is to find out uh, both the quantity and quality of, of their blood. So we look at the white blood cells, the red blood cells, and the platelets. And we also do the basic other tests. We do my, uh, microbiology, so we're able to look at uh, malaria parasites. If a patient has malaria, we're able to look at the blood for infections. We're also able to look at the urine for any abnormalities in, in the urine. And this center of excellence at the Uganda Cancer Institute is really supposed to position the Uganda Cancer Institute as the premier cancer care center, cancer training center, and cancer research center in the region. So as part of the Center of Excellence, uh, we're building um, a six-level building. It has two blocks, each of six levels. Some of the cancers, the blood cancers, uh, the leukemias, and even sickle cell, which is not a cancer, actually patients can be cured through bone marrow transplants. So we are also building a bone marrow transplant center in that building. But we want to create specific theaters for our cancer patients. So we have three state-of-the-art theaters They also provide an education component, they are large enough to actually accommodate students so that as we have our experts doing surgery, you also have students actually learning to do these surgeries. We also have planned a 12-bed ICU for uh, our cancer patients, so both for surgical and also medical ICU. We have uh, in that building also have a 40-bed surgical ward for our, our patients. We have a clinical trials ward uh, in addition, also uh, creating a biorepository. The, the goal of the biorepository is to keep the tissues, preserve the tissues, uh, both for research, but also for our patients. If you need to do additional diagnosis, you actually have the tissues that are already stored in our repository. So in men, the commonest cancer is prostate cancer. So it's the commonest cancer that we're seeing here. 
and in women in the commonest is cervical cancer followed by breast cancer. So those are actually our commonest cancers here. Uh, but then you also have Kaposi sarcoma. Kaposi sarcoma is an HIV-associated cancer. It used to be top of the list. In children, the commonest are leukemias. So we have, uh, we have the women's cancer unit or gynecological oncology unit, and this mostly takes uh, care of women with uh, what we classify as women's cancers. Then we have the pediatric oncology unit. Pediatric oncology unit takes care of children with all types of, uh, of cancers. And then uh, the solid tumor center is the other major unit. The solid tumor center takes care of uh, radiotherapy, which I've talked about. We provide chemotherapy for these patients uh, when they need it. We provide hormonal therapy. Uh, we provide surgery. We have a fully fledged uh, surgical unit. Well, if somebody can get a service from Barara or from Gulu or from Bale, it means they don't need to come to the Cancer Institute. So you won't have the influx of cancer patients that you're coming. Now, our proposal would be that the Cancer Institute remains the center of excellence and these cancer centers can actually send, um, uh, can refer patients to the Cancer Institute here. But if a patient, for example, needs to get chemotherapy, it has already been prescribed. They can get it from Guru, they can get it from Barara. And what that does, that reduces the strain on the services at the center or the facilities at the center here at the Uganda Cancer Institute. You are watching the Doc Talk Show. So the Doc Talk Show is proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Health. And once again, we want to thank our senior doctors in the field of heart medicine, Dr. Okelo Emi and Dr. Mwambu Tom for giving us this wonderful discussion on heart disease in adults. And remember, prevention is better than cure. So watch your weight, watch what you eat, get that high, that high blood pressure treated, and you can prevent yourself from getting heart disease. We'll see you next time on the Doc Talk Show.